everyone welcome to my channel so today I am very excited to be unboxing the lush kitchen box for January of 2024 now if you're unfamiliar with the lush kitchen box it really has nothing to do with the kitchen because this is a monthly bath and body subscription put up by lush so you may know lush for their bath bombs and bubble bars and all those fun things so it's a monthly lush box it's called kitchen because the lush kitchen is where they like experiment and do different scents and, and products and things like that so each month you get four to five limited edition vegan bath and shower products and, and sometimes skincare as well the box itself is $49.95 a month plus six dollar shipping in the U.S. they do also have this box and ca in Canada and the UK um the U.S. box does ship from Canada now the stuff that you get in this box is limited edition so this is not stuff that you can get in store so if you're a Lushy and you love Lush products and you want like limited edition stuff or if you just want to try Lush I think this is a great way to try it out as well they used to have community picks where everybody would vote up and down the products that they would want in their box this month or for the month and this year they have gotten rid of the community pick so there's no voting for that anymore and that's just so that they can like know in advance what's going to be in the boxes and I think it'll just make it easier for their production so I'm not too mad that they're getting rid of the community pick it wasn't like you get to choose exactly what you wanted in your box anyway so uh, I'm still excited for these boxes going forward and this box looks amazing and I've seen sneak peeks for the the February box it looks so good because it's like a lunar new year type box and I'm just so excited but today we have the January box so with that welcome back to all the sub box lovers out there welcome if you're new my name is Katrina and on my channel I unbox lots of different subscription boxes including lots of bath boxes so if you like these bath and lush videos definitely make sure to give them a thumbs up make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future uploads and let's dive in I am so happy that you're here hanging out with me today unboxing this box. This is genuinely one of my favorite boxes that I unbox on this channel. So when you open up the box, this is what it looks like. It says fresh from the kitchen. This is like their traditional box and packaging. Some months it is different colors depending on the theme. And then on top you do get the little card. So there's like a little art print. This one's kind of hard to see because it's so fluorescent. I don't know if my camera is really picking up on it well. Um, then on the back, this is the Rise and Shine box. It says this new year let sunshine through with uplifting products for every inch of you escape into a citrus oasis with january's curated routines here to help you recharge your body mind and soul um so you do have a little thing here where you can learn more about each of the products they do have it in english and in french you then do also get like if you order from lush you get that generic printout sheet that has all the products and all of their ingredients on them i'm not showing it because it does have my name and address on it um, but you do get that as well as y'all know i've mentioned this they've had packing issues in the pack but they passed but they now do have these little dividers in between the products and i have not had issues with their packaging ever since they've done that so that each thing has its own little cubby in transit so love Love that they've added that the first thing out is a um, shower gel this is their slammer shower gel so it says seawater and fresh lime juice gently cleanse sleepy skin with invigorating lime and ginger mix to leave you feeling cheery Ooh, that sounds really nice this is an 8.4 fluid ounce bottle so nice good size and I'm so curious to smell this Ooh, okay it's like kind of leaked in the cap but it hasn't leaked in the box so that's the good news it is a very like watery I don't know if you can tell that a very watery um shower gel Ooh, oh i just got it all over my lip and my nose okay well that's good it smells really nice really bright really fresh really citrusy but you've got some of that i'm dropping everything ginger there too i really like the way this smells again it does look a bit liquidy i don't know if you can like tell that for a shower gel but i'm still excited for it it seems really liquid actually but not a problem for me i think it'll be really nice um so it says this invigorating citrus blend is sure to put the boom boom into your heart and fuel an early start all right i might have spoken too soon because the next product does look like it leaks a bit and this is the tropical fruit um body lotion so it's a silky almond oil hydrate skin while earthy vetiver and woody cypress oils transport um you to a tropical rain forest um i'm gonna open this it does oh it does look like there's it could it could be a significant amount that leaked into this box it's hard to tell mm, i mean there's still plenty in here i'm probably not i could go to customer service for this but um it smells nice it's not my favorite scent it does smell nice i'm gonna clean this up here in a second because that's kind of gross um 
it's a very, it's like a light floral kind of, it doesn't smell like tropical fruit at all to me, if I'm really honest. It smells more like botanical floral. I'm like gonna, I have a makeup remover wipe that I'm just gonna like wipe around here so that when I close it, it's not a mess. You can absolutely reach out to customer service for things like this. And they gave me a, a lush gift card last time, but I couldn't figure out how to use it online. So I ended up having to go to store to, in the store to use it. Um, so I don't know if that would, they would do that for something like this. But again, there's enough product in there that I just don't feel like going through the hassle for that. Um, but FYI, okay, the packaging product uh, is not maybe not completely solved. I'm like trying to clean this up here to like be able to close it again. There's still some stuff in the lid, so I feel like it's still gonna kind of be a little bit messy for a little bit, but I think I've cleaned it up enough that it's not gonna bother me at all. So it doesn't smell like tropical fruit to me. It still smells really nice. I do enjoy their lotions, so kind of excited. Don't love the scent though. Okay, I'm obsessed. The next thing out is the Little Monkey Bubble Bar. Um, it says sweet and cheeky. This fresh organic banana packed bar makes for a super fruity skin softening soak. I love the roll bars. I love the little dried banana in it. I don't know if I smell banana. Like I smell fruity lush, but it like, it doesn't smell like, oh my gosh, a huge thing of banana. It does also look like maybe a small chunk of the bubble bar came, came off. I don't know, but it's like fine. It's good. It's not the prettiest bubble bar like I've ever seen in my whole life, but I do think it's really um, nice. It smells good. Their bubble bars are really, really luscious and great for the tub. So oh, I do, I really like the scent of this one. Like really like the scent. It doesn't smell like banana to me, but it really smells fruity and fresh. And I love like a little monkey bubble bar. Like this just sounds so nice. Like I like the name. I love banana stuff. So yum. All right, up next we have this here, which is a emoji bomb so it says Inve um, invigorate your mind with a gloriously zesty shower of lemon lime and grapefruit oils i think that means this is a shower steamer the powdery oh oh that's strong that is kicking your face citrus in a very good way this must be a shower steamer just based on the the powderiness and just the strength of the scent oh so for like a shower steamer you want to put it at the base of your tub you want a little bit of water to hit it but you don't want it in a direct stream I find the best results when the water is really warm and you close the door or enclose the space and it just creates this luscious spa-like experience. And I cannot wait to take a shower with this because this smells, like this will brighten your morning. This will feel so good. Like, oh my gosh, this is my favorite scent in the box so far. It smells incredible. Okay, last but not least, we do have a bath bomb. What is a lush kitchen without a bath bomb? Um, this is just more of like their traditional round top geometric bottom bath bomb. This is their okra. So it says, inhale the aroma of Brazilian orange, sandalwood, and lemon myrtle oils as a colorful sunset unfolds in the water surrounding you. Oh no, you know what? This is my favorite scent in the box. It's giving um, snow fairy meets citrus is kind of what it's giving. If you know like the snow fairy scent, it has like a little bit of that like candy sweetness, but it has that lovely citrus, but like a candy citrus. Oh, this smells really good. Oh my gosh. And it does look like it has little like um, bath salts in it, which should be really nice too in the water. Oh, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to use this bath bomb. It smells incredible. All right, so that is everything in the January Lush Kitchen. Um, I thought that theme was fun. It's not like the most tied together theme, like the galaxy box that they did before. It was like super easy to tie it together. And I think even the February box, like with the Lunar New Year will feel more tied together than this one did. But I do like for a new year, this like fresh, clean, rise and shine theme makes so much sense. I really, I'm gonna probably use everything in here. The lotion is the question mark because the scent of this is fine. It's not amazing and I, I don't know. It smells kind of like like rain, like rainforest botanical meets curry. It's I don't know why it's giving me that. Um, Cause it says a tropical rainforest awaits you with earthy vetiver and woody cypress oils. But when you say tropical fruit to me, that's not what I would, I think that doesn't make sense. I think they named this wrong if I'm honest because tropical fruit is not what this smells like. It smells like tropical forest, I think probably would have been a better name for it. That being said, that's probably the one product I'm not super excited about. The bath bomb is hands down my oh, favorite scent of the month, but I'm so excited to use the shower steamer, the bubble bar, and for sure the 
um, shower gel as well, even though it's a little bit liquid. So I'll be curious how that actually works out. Um, but definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What do you think of the January Lush Kitchen box? I still think it's really fun. Again, I think I'm more excited for next month's box. It looks so good. I think you actually get full spoilers if you like go to sign up for Lush Kitchen right now. So if you don't want the spoilers, don't scroll all the way down. Um, but very excited for next month's box. This one was good as well. If you like this video, definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future uploads and I'll see you in my next video.